What's up everybody, Jason Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I want to talk to you about the Adobe Creative Cloud. Now if you have a Creative Cloud membership, you have access to online storage. And this online storage you can store and manage assets in a variety of different ways from desktop to mobile. I want to show you all the different ways you can manage these assets. So let's get started here. Now Adobe's desktop app is really the hub to managing your Adobe applications. Here I can install and uninstall a variety of different applications depending on my membership status. I can also update my programs and I can see what's new within these programs. There's also shortcuts to view tutorials. If I need to learn more or I want to learn more about a specific program, I can simply click on view tutorials and then it's going to launch Adobe's website. Then I can pick whether I want to watch experience tutorials, it's just a variety of different content which is great. Now if I go back up here, if you look, there's also an Assets tab, and if I click on the Assets tab, this is where I can manage my online cloud storage. And there's a few different ways I can manage it. I can view all my assets online, or I can open up a folder on my local drive. So basically anything I have on the web, I can sync to my local drive. So let's take a closer look at each of these. First, I'm going to click on View on Web. And when you click View on Web, it's going to launch your My Assets page on Adobe's website. Now, where things get a little confusing is when you have the difference between files and libraries, which took me a little bit of time to get a handle on here. Now, I think Adobe is really close to having a perfect setup here, but I think right now it's a little bit convoluted still in between the libraries and files. It's a little bit clunky trying to navigate these two different setups, but I think th this is really close to being a perfect workflow. But the difference between files and, and libraries, think of files like online storage, simply online storage. Libraries, on the other hand, work in conjunction with Adobe applications. And within certain Adobe applications, you have a libraries panel where you can access certain assets that are in those libraries and use them from straight within the program. But we'll stick to the files right now. So I already have a few files uploaded here to my assets. And there's a few different things you can do here. I could create a new folder, I can move some things around, and I can upload. So let's say we want to upload something straight to our cloud here. I'm going to go to Actions, Upload, and I want to bring in this PSD file. Select Open, and over here you'll see the uploading bar. And then voila! Now, we can move this into our folder straight with a drag and drop. And you'll see here I get these notifications anytime I change anything within an Adobe program. Now I can open this folder here and you can see all of these assets that I, whoops, you can see all the assets that I have within this project folder. Now let's take a look at open folder section here. If I click on open folder, it's going to launch my Creative Cloud Files folder on my local drive which is really great. It's just a different way of looking at these files here, but it's saving these files to our local drive so I can access them immediately from my local drive. And you can change the settings within your preferences whether you want to sync it to your local drive or whether you'd rather not do that. But I have it all set up here. And the really cool thing about this is that any of the edits I make on my local drive will sync back to the My Assets or everything that I have on the web here. So let's say I create a new folder called fonts. I'll bring it into my project and then I want to bring this font file into my fonts folder. Now I'll go back to the website and refresh and you'll see all the changes have been updated. If I click on the fonts folder you'll see my font is in the correct spot. So two great ways to work with files in the Creative Cloud. In addition to web and desktop modes, you can manage assets with the Adobe Creative Cloud mobile app. Once you download the app, simply log in with your Adobe ID. You can view, edit, share, copy, and add to your files via the mobile app. The real power of using cloud storage is the opportunity to work with other people. Share your work with the world via a simple link or collaborate with a team. With collaboration, you can limit others' access to basic view and commentary or offer collaborators the ability to edit, rename, move, or delete assets. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high-quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.